Okay. So, uh, hello everybody. This is Skimmick Lazy. We've also got Monster Racer here. Hello. Uh, it looks like actually there's something I did not change real quick. Look at that. We got to change over what the game is. I didn't. That's that's not quite correct. So let's. While we're doing a little bit of introduction, we got Monster Racer. We got myself. Um, the current category that we're doing is one that we invented. We're calling it um, uh, all three characters, non-beta basically, um, race. And then we're also doing um, the game itself is not Crypto Necrodancer, it's Slay the Spire. How about that? So the estimate is... What do we put down for the estimate of this? How long do we give ourselves? An hour uh, and a half? One hour, 30, I think. So hour and a half. 30 minutes for each character. Yeah. And the thing is, if you look at each character, you know, like my... You know, a 10-minute run's a good run with each character. Actually, 15 minutes for some of the other... For non-ironclad. And you're looking at... Um, you know, uh, it's... So an hour and a half is because there's going to be a lot of resetting going on. There's going to be a lot of things that we're having to reset... They're going to figure out as we're going along, um, so you'll see a lot of a lot of that. Um, yeah. Yeah, because because even if it runs ten minutes, so yeah, it's pretty unforgiving. <laughs> Very unforgiving to say the least. So I'm excited. This is our first yeah. race of this one, um, and hopefully, um, I've been super nervous about this one just because of the amount of RNG involved. It's just freaking brutal yep um but uh i think i think we'll be able to have a pretty good race so what i'll do is i'll give us a little bit of countdown here um we have uh okay i did not set my file up right you know what um so we'll have to dance a little bit more because i i did not the file didn't start right so dude while, while we're still talking okay yeah, so, so there, basically... Yeah, go on. There's there's a Slay the Spire speedrun setup um, that basically makes it so that you have a guaranteed certain number of bosses and you have a certain amount of unlocks. Um, I'll be running with that. Monster Racer will not. Um, it's just basically what you're used to and what you're familiar with. Monster Racer tends to take things a little bit more consistently. I do not, so we'll see. If I can't win in the first couple of go-throughs, I'm guaranteed he's going to win in each character. But we're doing best of three on this one. So, it looks like my uh, game's deciding to be... This isn't good. What's happened there? Oh, wow. I have no <laughs> idea what's going on with mine. Uh, yeah, it looks like the, uh, <laughs> the cropping's gone a bit off. Yeah, it's not that. It's that my game actually went completely off as well. Um, oh. So <laughs> this is always the way well. that goes. See if I can change the screen settings while it's turned off, because that's <laughs> not good. Like that legitimately will mean I can't run it. Gameplay settings. Let's let's uh, glitch the sense. <laughs> oh my gosh, totally crazy. Don't know what's up with that. Um, Maybe your uh, <laughs> your program has decided to completely screw over the game. Oh, completely. It's decided. You know what? So we've what we've got here going on is you're wanting to run the game with the special. Uh, uh, special setups. We're gonna make it so that you can't do that anymore. Sorry, no, can't do that. Yep. Mm -hmm. Let's open this one. Nope, that's not it. Well, I'm gonna have to be not running with the special boss one, which is really unfortunate because I have been practicing with that, and uh, I don't know what to say about that. If that's gonna be the way the game's gonna try and run. So has it just decided to crash your game? It's because. decided to not open it up in a way that I can actually hit any of the... I had to actually Alt F4 to get out. That's the fun part. So, you know. So, all right, we'll try it one more time. We'll try it one more time. Yeah. And if we can't get it to work, I'm going to have to go with the same setup as you, and then uh, I'll be hoping I can figure it out. <laughs> You'll be Ooh. hoping that your silent chip deck doesn't get time eater. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah, I'll be hoping that my... Um, I get the bosses I know how to deal with in a, in a quick manner. Otherwise, yeah, it could be fun. It could be fun. Yeah, I mean with Act One, uh, <laughs> Act One is generally okay, but Time Eater or Champ, which are Act Two and Act Three bosses, tend to be. Hmm. 
I'm having complete issues now. It's crashing my computer. That's not a good thing. Alright. One more thing I can try. And then we're going to have to go as is. Did you try turning it on and off again? <laughs> <laughs> you know, if I turned it on and off, I have a feeling we'll have other problems, but uh, you lose me for a little uh, bit. The, the stream might go down, you know. Nah. All the setup might be completely screwed over, but other than that, it, it'll be fine. Yeah, it's just my personal stream, no big deal. Oh, <laughs> right. Hey, because you're here this. we go. Oh, did it work? It looks like it's working. Let's see if it shows up on the... I'm hearing the good music. Well, to me, I see a black screen, although I'm 10 seconds behind you because yeah. Twitch does. Yeah, give me a quick second to edit around the uh, game capture here. Yeah, nothing like uh, messing with stuff on the fly, huh? Yep. <laughs> anyway, you ready now? Almost. Yes, now. All right, so now we've got that going. We're capturing. We're golden. All right, so now, now we're back to what I was used to doing before. All right, so I am ready when you are. Okay, I'll give us a the countdown timer. then. All right, you uh, give us the countdown. Okay, just speed, speed run time already? It's all ready. Okay. Three, two, one, go. All right, so you'll see the difference here with the run that I have, that I'm guaranteed what's called Meow's Lament, which allows me to actually go through and make sure that um, the first um, few, um, what are they called? First few characters that I'm seeing, the first few fights that I have, everyone has just one HP. It makes a big difference yeah, well, in getting through on the first, the very first level. Whereas I just had the like normal option, where you can have max HP or you can get gold. And I've already got the card that I need in order to get through run successfully, which is Whirlwind, and I was able to upgrade that to Whirlwind Plus. So now I am very happy. Meanwhile, I got a perfected strike, which is basically a really beefy strike that encourages you to build a large deck. I accidentally clicked on the wrong path. I have to go through an elite fight, so that just sucks. Yeah. Because what per Perfected Strike does is it does for every card which has Strike in the title. Which means that if you have more Strikes in the deck, you do. Another whirlwind? Sure, why not? We'll have two of them. Make sure they come around. Oh no, I got the card. I got the card game. I got trip. Actually, that's actually helpful. Come on, I want to get out of here. Generally in this game, small decks tend to be more consistent because you can draw all your, like, win conditions more consistently, but in order to get small decks you have to remove cards, which is a commodity that the game doesn't always decide to give you. Correct. Every time you've got a shop you have an ability to purchase a card removal, but the ones you really want are the uh, card removals that are free based upon events happening in the game. I just got a really good relic, which is the paper. The paper frog. Uh, when an enemy is vulnerable, it takes 25% more damage, which is doesn't seem that much, but if you have the enemy on vulnerable the entire game, that adds up quite a lot. It definitely adds up after a while, for sure. It's definitely something that you want to be able to uh, prioritize doing. Alright, 
There we go, through the first boss. I don't want any of those card rewards. We'll skip the card. Uh, look for the paper crown. That's fine, giving me more energy. I have whirlwind, so I definitely want to make sure I'm taking relics with more energy. Let's see, where are we going here? No elite path. No zero, no elite paths. That's really unfortunate with no ascension. Yeah, because elites just take longer, basically. Yeah. They're a normal fight, but the enemies have more HP is usually stronger. And they have better rewards, but the rewards are somewhat inconsistent uh -huh. sometimes. <laughs> There, I chose. To, I actually chose to fight an enemy instead of a normal enemy because it's right at the end of the act. So any damage I take will just be re, re healed when I uh, beat the boss. I was able to pick up two pummel cards, which is rare and great cards for the type of run that I'm doing right now. Um, where I'm really focusing on being able to maximize my overall, uh, you know, one-time damage. And I also have the Shuriken, which allows me to get, every time I play three attacks uh, in a turn, I get strength, which is very helpful as well. That should be helpful for the final, uh, whatever my final boss ends up being. I would like to have a few more flex cards. Unfortunately, I've not seen many of those, but Ironclad really... Um, your biggest thing being able to really maximize uh, the amount of strength you can have on a um, flex zone, even though flex is only for the current turn, if you get enough of them in there, they're free play. Um, no problem with having them in there. Uh, from the boss chest, I got a, a demon form, which is basically, if you can play it, it's amazing because choose two or three when upgraded, strength per turn, which is a winning condition in turn, essentially. And I also got an energy relic, which is sweet. That is definitely um, getting the, the the demon form helps. The problem is you can't rely just on that because uh, depending upon the boss that you have, uh, it takes a while to scale. So it's great for a casual run, uh, but sometimes doesn't work out as much as you were hoping that it would uh, in a standard run. I could go three whirlwinds. I don't think so. Yeah. For me though, demon form is amazing with anchor. I start if I draw it in the first. I start with block, so I don't have to play a block card the same time I play it. Play yeah. demon form. And I did pick up the anchor, so you are seeing that appear in my race I got here. What have we got? Almost. taken Runic Dome, but I wanted to get the extra healing at this point. I already have four energy. Uh, Runic Dome is a tough one. You don't see a lot of casual players taking because it hides the enemy's intents from you. Um, but when you're doing a speed run, especially if your strategy is just, well, hit them as hard as you can, as fast as you can, it doesn't really matter what the next enemy's intent is on the next turn. 
In my run, I'm basically just if I see if I see a card that has strike in it, I'm taking it because it uses my perfected strikes value. Ideally, I'd get a second perfected strike so I don't have to just rely on one draw, but that doesn't always happen. All right, we got Kaw. I, I went and gambled on the faces, and I got the no. Kaw, Kaw. Ka -ka! <laughs> it's a pretty, it's a fun meme. Best part of the game. I just was hoping I didn't get the bad face to give myself weeds. There's Kaw. Had to go through an elite here. This particular elite that I'm. Uh, that I'm on is particularly troublesome as he can get himself intangible for a turn, which means you can only hit him uh, for one. Um, and I'm dead right here. Rip. Well, that stinks. Alright, let's try it again. Whew. That elite, that with that intangible, that can kill you if you're on a completely strike-based attack pattern. That was unfortunate, because that was looking like a good run, too. That was looking like a good run. Yeah, some elites are just really nasty, that you don't want to fight. And it's weird that I didn't have a no elite path in both Act 2 and Act 3. That's pretty rare um, when you're doing no ascension levels. Now, ascension levels, for those of you who don't know, are um, basically where... Uh, let's see, I do want to go through... Grab the free elite. I can't... Ascension levels are basically where, after you beat the game, it makes the game harder for you the next time around. You can turn them off, which we've done for speedrunning. Um, and the very first one is get more leaps, which we don't have, so it's right. quite unlucky to You definitely don't want that one, so yeah. Normally, because if you're just playing too casually, you can find a path through that does not involve leaps. Maybe. I found a second perfected strike, which is really nice for me. Oh, because that... The nice thing about getting a second perfected strike is it counts towards the number of cards that have the word strike in them. So, yep. Stone counter. It's... And I also have a headbutt too, which lets me take. Whenever I play a headbutt, it lets me take a perfected strike from my discard pile and add it to my. Door pile, the top of it. Get those cards out of order. So I am playing with the keyboard shortcuts, but occasionally you hit the wrong number and then you can get the wrong card out and that can hurt you a little bit. Not terribly here. Let's go through these question marks. So if the Centurion and I forgot the other person's name fight, even though the, the Mystic, there we go, even though the Mystic is weaker than the Centurion, you generally want to kill the Centurion first, because otherwise he goes berserk and does a whole lot of damage. Yep. Now I just got event, an event that's normally really lose some map to HP, but face your strikes with bites. However, since I have a perfected strike deck, bites don't have strike in the game, so my perfected strikes just lose 15 damage if I were to deal. Alright, I got through the first act again, back on the act two. Uh, looks like I do have a path this time. Excellent. I have a no elite path. Hooray. But I have no whirlwind, so with this build and no whirlwind in Act 2, uh, I'm not liking my chances. Let's put it that way. Meanwhile, I'm just on to the second boss now, the Collector. And my perfected strike do exactly enough to just one-shot the minions. Which is nice. 
so I don't have to p play two cards to kill them. Alright, I'm taking Chemical X just in case I do find a Whirlwind later on. So Chemical X is a uh, limited use relic that I just picked up here. Um, it... It will um, make it so that any card that has X, which Whirlwind is one of them, it, oh my gosh, it's in my flex first. Um, it, uh, it makes it X plus two, which is very, very useful because Whirlwind is an X card. Uh, but, I don't have it yet, so it became an expensive relic that I took and can't use. Yeah, that's the that's the thing with lots of cards in the deck where with the right you don't have any synergies and they're just a dead draw and you can't do anything with them. Ah, uh, but we picked up whirlwind, so we're good to go. And I can I can get it to whirlwind plus right now as a fireplace right after the store. That's what you want to see. It's fast, and I just got limit break, which is um, basically double distraction. Kingdom for a limit break. Of course, I'm battling with a really mean Sneko right now. Oh my goodness. There we go. Okay. I just took uh, from the boss relic a runic parent, which means at the end of my turn, all the cards that I didn't play that turn just stay in my hand. Which is bad if they're curses, but if they're not curses, then, for example, if they're my win conditions, if they could strike, but they don't have enough energy to play them, then they can just save them for late thing. Whereas in my deck, ooh, one more hit and I'm dead. Um, let's smoke bomb it. Get out of here. Uh, in my deck, because I have fiend fire, which is exhaust all cards in your hand and do ten for each. Uh, that's nice. I wouldn't mind having that. Because I'm only at 13 HP right now, this isn't looking good for me. I'm going to survive with 1 HP. again. See, this is where definitely you see slow and steady wins the race. Probably would have been a better thought for me. <laughs> well, the flip side of that is that if you were to then I wasn't even close. <laughs> yeah, I mean... There's still a chance. I still have a chance. Unfortunately, Ironclad is my most comfortable character, I believe is the way to put it. I may have to take the more slow and steady strats uh, from here on out. Well, not now, but I mean in silent and default. The Gremlin Wheel, the wheel of always cut. Well, not this time. <laughs> Basically, that just it's just you get a random re reward or penalty, and there are six different ways, and it's completely RNG. So sometimes it can be really useful, and sometimes it, well, completely screws you over. <laughs>
now the relic that gives me a choice of two card rewards out of every fight instead of one, it's not actually that useful because more cards just means more less chance to draw the cards you actually want. But useful in a perfected strike deck sometimes. So I intentionally fighting fight the slime here did not split him right there because uh, I wanted to try and split him as low as possible, which I did not get a good card draw on the turn when I could have split him, but splitting him at 50 is a lot better than splitting him at, you know, 60-something. Yeah, because he splits when he gets at half HP. Alright, so I'm through Act 1 again. Oh, we'll take the hammers. I have... Oh. Alright, so you're in Act 3 now, correct? Yep. Slowly moving through Act 3. Faster than yeah. me, because I keep having to go back to Act 3. <laughs> Although the, la <laughs> the lack of AoE is actually hurting me quite a lot here. Yeah, With you need to make sure you've got some way of doing AoE uh, by Act 3. Um, there's too many enemies who fight together, like uh, three black yeah. slimes. Which I've had to fight twice now. <laughs> Because my only source of AoE is a base. Okay, the enemy I'm fighting now changes whatever it Which can be a real pain if you're <laughs> trying to plan out your attacks and then suddenly, oh no, he's doing a 520 damage attack now. What do I do? But sometimes he decides to be nice and uh, just do a status effect on you. And the third perfected strike. That's really good. Normally, perfected strike doesn't scale enough for it to be useful, uh, but uh, when you get three of them, yeah, <laughs> when you get three of them, it scales. And it scales quite well. Since this is the last shot, probably before the boss, I might as well spend every piece of gold I have in it. This little flying bird that I'm fighting against. Um, he, if you hit him three times, he gets knocked down. So that's why I had to make sure I still had uh, three attack I was doing off the whirlwind instead of taking the strength first. In case you're kind of paying attention, trying to figure out what I'm doing. That's why I'm doing what I'm doing. Ha! 
And I'm on to the final boss, which is the Awakened One. He gains one strength every time you play a power. So this is one of the decks where if you're on a power-based deck, you're pretty much screwed. <laughs> because you, he may end up taking, going up to 10 strength in the most extreme cases. Sometimes more than that. <laughs> So I'm intentionally not blocking anymore as I picked up this little gold bar, uh, which means every time I don't have block in my turn, I get six block. So it's better for me just at this point to just straight focus on everything attacking. Should work out just fine. All right, I'm through Act Two, so I mean I'm not going to win unless you choke. Let's put it that way. Um, yeah. And blood potions now do 25% max HP instead of. 10%, so now I'm nearly back to full HP again. Hmm. Alright. And I'm with my setup, I'm guaranteed to fight Donu Deka all day long, which is... They scale fast, yeah. but they're the easier, the faster of the bosses to face. And that's GG on my end, 25-15. Oh. Okay, so now we're going to Silent next. Yep. Alright. Long live the burb. <laughs> the burb. One point to monster ratio. That's right on the point like setup thing, but everyone knows you've got you've got the point there. Everyone also knows that if you win, you have to just lose the first point. You can't win whilst winning with... <laughs> I don't know. My silent runs lately have been atrocious. Uh, I feel I feel more confident about my uh, my defect strats lately, but uh, that might be moot at that point. Hmm. Uh, all right, let's see here. Give me something good. Anyway. Oh, you're starting already? Okay. Oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, that's fine. It's like... It's like five seconds. I'll, I'll pause here. Yeah. I'll let you get through the whale before I continue. Yeah, you can go on All pause right. now. Alright, ship build it is. Okay. Oh boy. We got the little golden gremlin horn thing, so that if an enemy dies... I get energy in a new card. For a ship build, that's exactly what we want to have. So, completely different cards, completely different strategies. If you think in terms of who is this character, talk to the game, but why not? Who is this character? What do I want to do with them? What's, you know, what's uh, my strategy? Think of him more like a thief. In a traditional sense, where it's a lot more strikes and knives and and things of that nature. Um, Basically, there are two main builds. Either there's a shift plate with a whole lot of cards in one turn, or there's a poison build, where you poison all your stuff to death. Because the way poison works in this game is actually quite powerful. Poison definitely is the safer route, which is what you don't see me going for it, because, you know, why the heck not? Um, Shiv is a little more risky strap, it can be equally as powerful as long as you don't have something that is uh, making it so you can't draw cards, or if you have a time steel eater or whatever her name is. Yeah. Or if you, for some reason, pick the Velvet Choker Relic, which is the relic that makes it you only able to pick, play, uh, 
Oh, how many is it now? Six, six cards in a turn. It's just six cards in a turn if you pick them. So that's definitely not a relic you want to go for if you're going with the ship build. Oh, I, I just found an amazing relic for this. Kunai. Oh. How do you pronounce that? Whenever you play three attacks, you gain one dex. And I'm going to be playing a lot of attacks if I ever ship build. Are you going ship build as well? Yep. Partly because I haven't found a single poison card yet. Yeah. You have to play the game. You have to play the game that the cards give you. Um, yeah. There's no starting the game and going. The game will sometimes just not give you any poison cards, and then you're a bit stuck. <laughs> just a little bit stuck. Oh, we keep losing your stream every once in a while. Not sure why. Yeah, it looks like... Is everything looking fine on your end? Do I need to try and reset something on the... Um... Uh, looks fine to me. Okay, let me do a quick refresh here. So I'll be pausing real quick so I can refresh you. Okay, I'll just... I mean... Okay, the... It is showing red, so I guess I'll just restart for now. Okay, I'll pause. Uh, try reducing the bit rate or something. Okay, no worries. I'll throw a pause on the timer here as well. But considering, yeah, we're we're in silent and we're only at a half hour, so we're on pace. <laughs> okay, my stream should be back up now. Refresh on there. Actually, refresh it. Oops. Play. Let's see here. Oh, oh you can. <laughs> oh, I can refresh just a second. Refresh. I thought you. I just had talking to R thirty here. <laughs> I thought, like, all settings, you had to restart for. Oh, uh, it's still saying you're offline. Uh, hang on. Mm -hmm. It says I'm online on my end. Let me joke one more time. There he goes. Now, now we see, uh... Move your mouse. Now we see something. Yep. Okay. Ready back to go then? Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll start the timer back up so we can keep going. There we go. Alright. I'm on the slime boss right now, so... Taking his massive strike he does. Throwing my red potion bomb. Oh, his stream is not muted. All right, hang on, I'm gonna. Hold on. My bad, my bad, my bad. Thanks for letting me know. Now his stream is muted, so we should be good to go. Fairly okay deck, but what's really doing the work for so, the kunai just letting me defend most of the stuff. <laughs> Mine just ripped. I did not have a strong. I didn't think I had a strong enough deck, but I wanted to try it anyways. It was the start of a shiv build, but not one that gave me more than a single shiv per turn. That's not going to do it. That's not going to do it. <laughs> did you have only infinite blades? That's all I had. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's the first shiv card I took too. Oh, I guess I had a better luck than you. <laughs> that was the first one I had, and I was able to, to get it to be an innate card as well by upgrading it, so... Alright, and... Back we go. Who do I have? Guardian. 
Guardian's actually pretty convenient because this is a really slow deck. I don't have anything other than ships and my only damage up is accuracy. So if I would to have gotten Hexaghost there, he probably would have completely screwed me over. <laughs> Take it a little bit slow, thinking about it a little bit. I am starting to get some poison this time, so we might go poison now. Yeah, we're going poison now. Got two poison cards already. Oh, I've got a lot more poison cards now. Um, noxious fumes and everything. Be useful if you're trying to play a poison deck. Yes. <laughs> oh, and we got corpse explosion already, so let's go. As you can see in longer fights, I'm just racking up the dexterity. My survivor is doing 15 block on its own, for, and for a starter card, that's good. Poison gets fun in this game is with um, this Corpse Explosion card, which is when you have multiple enemies, you apply it to one enemy, you can focus on just that enemy, and when he dies, he explodes for the value of his max HP damage applied to everyone else. Um, it's basically the way to take out Donu Deka. Oh, and we got Catalyst. Yeah, Catalyst doubling and then tripling when you upgrade the amount of poison on an enemy. This is going good. Meanwhile, I have an interesting boss choice. <laughs> Where I could get a Curse Key of Pandora's box, or a... All of which are viable. And I have no idea which one to take, so... I'll just pick one and hope it goes well. What I normally do after Pandora's box is spend like 50 cards I've got, but that we're speedrunning, so I guess I'll just have to figure stuff out. Quick thinking on the fly. Yeah, you have to be really you have to be intimately familiar with how your cards look. More than yeah. people take the time to read the titles or anything like that. Like it's just It seems like I got zero block. <laughs> Which is not great, because <laughs> you need block to be able to do things. I just got the event that lets me upgrade all my strikes just after I got rid of all my <laughs> Total <laughs> meme event right there. Oh my gosh, that's awful. Uh, I do have a zero elite path. That's good to have. See with these three birds, there's no point in even trying to attack these guys. So just straight up using that corpse explosion. He 
dies, he takes everyone else out with him. Here we go. Which way was it? This way. Let's heal up. One of the cards I got from Pandora's box gives me a random potion, which is letting me use these potions now a lot more aggressively since I can effectively get one every fight. Instead of just saving them through final boss, which is what I did with Ironclad. I almost used my corpse explosion on a guy who had an artifact, which would have negated it. it would not have been good. Would not have been the first time I've done that. That last guy I was fighting, he tends to buff his shield up pretty significantly. Um, and so the one strat is to keep attacking him over and over again, and it feels like you go nowhere. Um, whereas why I was instead choosing to just let him build it up and then let the corpse explosion take him out completely. Ooh, I didn't have lethal on these guys. That was a mistake. Thought I did. Thought I did. Big mistake. A thousand cuts in a ship deck when I'm playing a billion cards a turn, but pretty useful. Because now instead of playing, not playing, but doing a billion damage per card I use, I'm now doing a, a billion plus one damage for every card. <laughs> And an ornamental fan, which is the uh, the kunai's counterpart, basically. Where whenever I play three attacks, it gives me some block. I just have to hope not to get time eater. This is where I wish I was running the mod. <laughs> I'm sitting here at, uh, beautiful 2 HP going into a Sneko fight. You can trust the Sneko. Oh, of course, he's not gonna be nasty to me. <laughs> when has a Sneko ever betrayed you someone? Fortunately, I had a regen potion, but that's still... not sure it's gonna cut it. Right, I had the lizard tail thing. Oh, save me. I had the lizard tail. So that uh, literally just saved me. I forgot I had that. <laughs> the relic of... Wait, I'm not dead. <laughs> uh-huh. No, I'm not dead yet. That's definitely not dead. Oh my gosh. I am... So... Oh, thankfully I had that. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely not out of the woods yet, let's be honest. Um, yeah. Didn't kill me, but didn't make me stronger either. The 
one HP again. What is this? If you're not on one HP at the end of the run, that just means you haven't been. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. Fortunately, I had two consecutive campfires, so. I think we might. might. be okay. Just in. Not okay. Oh, that's another rip. Couple misplays there on my end. I lost over half my health with a couple misplays. The rest of it was up was just RNG as well. I'm not getting the right cards. And my Act 2 boss is the champ, which is a really nasty one. <laughs> yeah, I had the little tree guy who has his minions. I forget what his name is. Uh, the... no, not the Awakened one. <laughs> no. The the Collector? I think it's that one. Yes, Collector. That's the name of the, that's the, name of the guy. we got a nice path over here. Maybe a nice path. Meow's Lament to get through uh, an Elite, which is nice. Oh, yeah, we got a ceasing top. We're going back to ship build with this set up here. Uh, what do I want to do? Thousand cuts is the way to go. There goes the jump. Pretty slow. And I have a pretty good choice between the Thousand Cups and an Envenom. Which, when you're playing a bunch of cards, you turn isn't good. I have to do the good old dance of please don't be timey. Don't, it's timey. <laughs> <laughs> of course. 
The thing with Time Eater is that he gives, he basically just ends your turn once you've played 12 cards. Which is a problem if your turn is based around playing a bunch of cards every turn. Mm -hmm. I made a mistake. I'm on Swine and I split him at 69. I, I couldn't do math. What's I couldn't do math. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, exactly. That was not the... I mean, it's the thing when you're speedrunning, you're not really doing the math. You're just going through and, you know, thinking, okay, I think I should be okay, and then you're off by one or two. It's like, oh, come on. Missing me full by one and them eating like a 20. <laughs> a very painful situation. But, got through slime, no problem. A little bit slower than we should have. Oh, and we got wrist blade. Which increases the, the strength of my uh, shivs, so that's good. We're going left path. Oh no, you looks like your stream is completely offline right now. Oh, my stream died. Oh no. <laughs> right, let's restart the stream again. Alright, I'll pause again. All of the all all of the fires going up. All of a sudden I look up and I'm like, oh no, we got a black screen with some words on it. <laughs> a black screen with some words on it. They should make it that. Exactly. Just the, that's just all it is. Yeah. Drop, fr yeah. drop frames 90%. That's not good. That's a lot of frames to drop. Confirm 90% is not how many you want. <laughs> well. Alright. Let's try this again. I guess. To be honest, for whatever reason, I mean, Slay the Spire doesn't look to be as in graphically intensive of a game. But... It is. It sucks a lot of resources out of your machine. I'm not sure why. I've played games that have, you know, 3D effects, etc. They tend to be less resource intensive than um, than uh, uh, Slay the Spire. I'm not sure why. WRP beater says you should get to 89%, <laughs> then you'd be fine. Yeah, no, 90% it's a bit off, but 89% that that's doable. Yeah, I think but, we're, I think we're good. I think we're back to. I think we've got you back. live. Yeah, try moving your mouse. Let's see if we can see it. Oh yeah. Okay, we're good to go. Okay. I'll start the timer right. again. Go ahead. Let's restart now. <laughs> Resume. Okay. Now, where was I? What was I doing? I don't remember. <laughs> you were playing Slay the Spire, I believe. I was attempting to. There we go. Kill those darn birds. More AOE cards in here. Upgrade all strikes and defense. Sure. I will do that actually.
And immediately after I upgrade all strikes defends, it's remove all strikes, get bites. Mm. I mean, getting five, well, five free bites can be good in some decks. That's true. Yeah, I, I'm not sure how you know exact build the game is coded or anything else. That's not my ooh, not my strong suit at all. So, take this guy out. So you down. Thank you. Uh, some doors here. I'm trying to catch up on you. I'm trying. I don't know if I'm going to be able to catch back up to where you are, though. <laughs> well, the way my deck's playing is that I have to play so many cards just to do... Because I don't have any stacking stacking pieces of uh, damage. It's just every card maybe costs zero and does ten damage. So it's pretty slow. And I also have to fight Time Eater. Uh, yeah, that's not going to be helpful for a ship, though. In Act 2, one of the worst enemies that you can run up against, and I just had this enemy. Uh, we'll see if you agree with me, but it's that uh, the Snake Plant, I feel like should be an Elite. I've lost oh, more runs. I've lost more runs to Snake Plant than to any other. Yeah, if you like, just gave that the Snake Plant like fifty percent extra HP, it would be easy, probably. Mm -hmm. Who gave the Raving Mass an attack? Has 37 damage. <laughs> That's illegal. Ooh, that's not okay. Just random 37 damage. <laughs> Good news, I'm actually surprised. I get Snekko Plant down to 27 HP on my first turn with my current build, so that's good. I'm surprisingly close to just dead here. <laughs> Down to 13 HP. Mm. fairly well at this point. I would like my build, it's just so slow. <laughs> but it takes forever to do anything. I'm going in to fight the collector now.
Like just like the sheer number of animations from <laughs> a thousand cuts and point and then and then I'm doing poison. Mm -hmm. Probably taking a toll on my game. Yeah. I have the same thing as well. I'm not doing lots of uh, poisons, but it's the thousand cuts certainly does eat into uh If I got after him it'd be even worse, because then it'd be play attack, game block, do damage, uh do st status effect. And that's for every single hit I play. Which is bad. Because I have uh, Kunai and I'm able to get so many shivs, like, I get dexterity so fast, it's beautiful. Oh, you got Kunai too. I did. So I'm at the, within my collector fight, I'm at the good. Ooh. The world. Ah, I out. Oh, so close. Alright, he's dead. He was down. He was down. Grand finale. Wanna go for that meme? I don't think so. Grand finale, huh? Yeah, no. Not it's a good meme. It's a terrible card <laughs> because it never works. <laughs> I saw someone play it once. I actually did. It was they were quite surprised. Uh, grand finale. In case anyone couldn't read fast enough on the screen before I click past, is a card that deals fifty damage, but only if there's no cards in your draw pile. So yeah, that uh, never happens. circles with the black slimes that like to regrow right now. That's not where you want to be. There we go. We took them out. Those guys, if you don't take them out fast enough, um, they'll go down, then they'll regrow. Uh, let's see. We'll take out... Uh, fine. They'll regrow at half their HP when they come back. And when I'm fighting with Transient, it adds even... It adds one more animation, because why not? <laughs> yeah, indeed. Boss one, uh, uh, a, a um, first uh, level boss again, and I'm onto the final boss uh, again. Right. No, trying to catch up. Well, there's a decent chance I might die. Uh, you do have to fight the time eater. That's for sure. That's not a great. Uh, that's not a good guarantee. And I actually have to think about how many cards I have. <laughs> yeah, you have to actually time out, figure out how many you want to play each turn. Yeah. Alright, I'm through that. We got the urn, which I don't have any power. I have one power card, so I suppose that works.
I think I might be dead. <laughs> oh no. I missed it. I missed time the primate this 11. Yeah, oh, it, doesn't take, me. it doesn't take much on uh, on the time meter to, to have you go down. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That happens. All right, so now I can take my time just to touch here. Meat on yep. the bone. Thank you, meat on the bone. <laughs> that yeah. tends to be quite useful. Very if useful. You don't. <laughs> very, very useful. If you useful. don't want to be uh, <laughs> just die, dying as soon as you go down to low HP. Uh, I don't really see much point in me, because you're nearly done. Oh, you're assuming I'm going to win. I, I never make that assumption. <laughs> That's true. But I guess I could try to play quickly now. Yeah, go for the, go for the fast rats. Don't look, just click. <laughs> right, uh, let's do a boss relic swap. Oh, Rary. <laughs> That's a bit terrible. What do we have? We have noxious fumes. <laughs> We have another noxious fumes. <laughs> well, poison build we have, it is. Yeah, we have catalyst. <laughs> this is not as terrible as it sometimes is. Hmm. I actually took all five cards. Whoa. Like the transient, I really don't. Yeah, I had to fight him twice, and it just took forever. <laughs> Not a fast character, but I can manage it with my build. I get the right cards. Yeah, for me, it was just play my five shifts and then wait five. now. I don't need that. that. I mean, the wrist, the wrist blade has definitely been saving me this time, let's put it that way. Well, to be honest, the kunai probably carried that. Because when the pen cards do 10 block instead of 5 block, it's quite useful. Yep. And the cloak and dagger plus, I'll take it. Okay. Oh, vulnerable. Good. Dead. Ghost in a jar, that's something perfect to get right now. Give me an intangible when I need it against the Donodeca. Um, rest. Alright, here we go. Let's take our time here. Oh, Donodeca. Whoa. All right. Don't die. <laughs> oh, yeah, don't die. Because if you die, that means we get to play this all over again. <laughs> <laughs> and neither of us want that. <laughs> yeah, we may be a little over us if that happens. Not gonna use that yet. I wish I had more potions, but that's okay. There's a thousand cuts. Finally. So we're drawing two cards. Oh, we got here. Come on, 
shift build. Let's do your work. Alright, um... Alright, now it's just starting to get real. Did not get any of the cards I needed this time. I had against Donu Deca, Corpse Explosion. Which might come into effect if you manage to die. I'm at 30 HP. Deck is about to go down. Hmm. I have to make sure Deca goes down, actually. There we go, Deca's gonna go down. Deck is down. Oh, but he can kill me right now. Uh, because I don't have enough block. I do. So I can weaken him. Oh. I have to get him next round. Looking quite close. <laughs> yeah. Oh my, come on, I have to get him right now. I have to get him right now. I need all the good cards. Okay. I think I, I think I think. Oh, he's down. Oh. Okay. Well, there we go. That's silent down. <laughs> it's one to one now. One to one. One to one. All right. Well, the defect it is. Ah, lost the defect. <laughs> okay, you ready? No, I'm, I'm gonna head to reboot. Had to reboot the, because when I I. Uh... When I get past the first boss, the way that the speedrun setup works is that the way the game works is it presents to you the way it presents which boss is determined by which bosses you've beaten before. So when you beat the first boss, it resets that and gives you new bosses next time. So let me get in here. Okay, I'm ready. Okay, three, two, one, let's go. I'm, I'm already abandoning run. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't like those choices. Did you not get the Niels Lament? Uh, for some reason, with the with the speed run setup, it doesn't give you Niels Lament. I didn't even like any of the others. It was like three potions, or um, it just wasn't good choices. So. We're re-rolling here. So we get a good path. I just got Tempest, which is a potential the defect you can get a load of energy and what it does is channel a lightning orb for every for every energy you have. That's a really good that's normally my strategy. Get that, get some focus and you're good to go. Yep. But if you don't have anything to, well, if you don't have any synergies, when, like if like is the case with level one, then it can be a bit hard right. to play with against. I picked up White Noise, which is playing with RNG for sure. Although I might be resetting anyways uh, because I just picked up the little gremlins in level one here. And I don't like them. Meat on the bone. That's great. <laughs> yeah, we're 
become ironclad whenever you're below. Yeah. Whenever you're below half HP. As for healing, for sure. <laughs> I rerolled again. I didn't like that setup. I wasn't giving good cards. Here we go. This is, a, this is a better one. Should be. Alright, static discharge. So whenever I receive damage, it's a power card that allows me to channel lightning. So again, if I can get some focus going, um, that could be good. The thing with static discharge is that in a normal run, so it's not great, but yep. unless you're against the birds, but when you're speed running, you don't care that much about damage. Or you're more willing to take it. Yeah. Especially if you get meat on the bone. Then it's just... Yeah. Get below half health, heal up. Oh, a focus potion at least. There's... Meat on the bone, I got it too. Are we playing the same seed? Um, I highly doubt it, but... <laughs> it's like a one in how many... <laughs> how many bosses, not bosses, uh, digits of the seed, I wonder. Yeah, I don't know. A lot, that's what I know. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't play my zero cost card that would have given me a block. Ah. Can't win them all. The only situation that would ever be like you would ever want to not play one is if you have calc. Which gives you block if you have no block. Mm -hmm. Which I had that that saved me last game for sure. That definitely saved me. But even then, it's uh, it's ten blocks, so it would be better than what you would get by default. I could go hyper beam build. I'm not going to. Is there such thing as building around hyper? Yeah, it's where you focus. You build yourself more like ironclad. Ignore orbs. And you just build based upon strength. And you get strike cards, there's other attack cards that you can get as well. Um, and you also have a relative you have to have a relatively low um, a relatively low amount of cards in your deck because you want to be able to get hyper beam to come around a lot. So you start off with dual cast, you dual cast your one um you cast your one uh, card away. Your one orb away, I should say. Now the card I'm really looking for now is a lot of orbs, because uh, that makes orbs hit lightning orbs hit every enemy. Mm -hmm. That's definitely the winner card. Whereas right now, they're just hitting one enemy at Slime and I'm going to take Echo Form. I'm not. You didn't get this, the card I really wanted. Let's get Eternal Feather for the healing. I think great, great relic options. I got, I got nothing good there at the end of that one. It's unfortunate. Did you not even get any energy relic at all? No, no energy relic options. Well, I could have, but then I would have. It was the blow dart with no potions, and I kind of need the focus potions to show up. Mm. Am I have a deep fragment. That'll work. Good focus. Yep. What I really want is the card that gives you an artifact. Uh, because then you can take the cards that give you... Biocognition, yeah. Yeah, Biocognition. You don't have to take the negative side of that. Um, 
because the negative side is losing focus every turn. Mm -hmm. that would def that's definitely the negative, yes. <laughs> You saw just there why having that static discharge, not static discharge, but uh, uh, all there yeah. is consume, is one half. Uh, go straight hard. Because when they were hitting me, uh, let's upgrade those. Uh, I was channeling more lightning, and then the lightning was ended up ending kill up killing them. So. It's a bit like having forms, but a lot of them. Keep tr keep trying, Arthur. Eventually, you'll win a run. Eventually, you'll win a run. Ah, oh, Tempest. There we go. Oh, you found it now. I found it. Yep. Yeah. I just gotta gotta smith it up. Give it to Tempest Plus. It channels X plus one lightning. Now we just need that chemical X. To go. Whoops. I forgot I had cursed key and just opened. Oh no. That's bad. <laughs> oh. Thankfully, I am a key spike which lets me just remove it, but it's a parasite, which is the one that's annoying to me. We got chill, which is good protection to start the battle if I can smith that up as well. No. And that's a second defragment. Don't take that. Ooh. Just killed itself off. Defragment. I got a defragment now. I really want to smith up. I'm gonna do it anyways. Shiny chill. Chill plus. Chill is nice because chill, when it's chill plus, it shows up as the first card in combat. The first thing you can do is get, you know, your. Uh, you get your frost for some protection right in there. Let's do that. Soon. Huh, still, maybe. Do it. Apparently, hmm. all right. That's With consume, it doesn't. Uh, it's not counted as a debuff for an artifact. With consume, you lose the warp slot anyways. Alrighty. Yeah, there are certain things which just ignore artifact completely. It has to count as a debuff. It's just based on how it depends on how it's programmed in the code. I just got double energy, which is very know. useful <laughs> when you have a card that has cost X. Double energy is very useful. Very, very useful. There we go. Seven energy tempest. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, if you can oh, get if you can get tempest and you can get the ice cream uh, ice cream cone. Yeah, te tempest ice cream with multiple double energy. Yeah, that's 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 the way to win. If you just stack up your energy and then you you bring in. A whole boatload of uh, lightning orbs, and you can get, especially if you can get inserter or something to give you lots of orb slots. Um, all right, we're heading to the collector. I'm not confident with the build that we have right now. Let's put it that way. Uh, let's give some strength. Just finished the collector? Okay. I'm working on it. I haven't touched him yet, I'm in like round four. 
<laughs> this isn't good. Mm. Yeah. I basically have the deck I want, so I took Busted Crown, which is card, uh, card rewards are limited to one card instead of three. Yeah, once you have the deck that you want, that's definitely the way to go. And there's a card on the left with three fires and no elites. I'm taking that. Oh, one more hit and I'm gone. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna make it through this one. Nope. Ah, oh. bummer. Yeah, I, I wasn't liking how that one was built. Was going for turn uh, the uh, for act two. I didn't. I wasn't feeling like I was gonna make it through, but there was a chance. But no, I wasn't getting the right cards in the right order. Yeah. So we might going be going a touch over on the estimate. Just a touch. Which, I think we've got... Um, we're going to be over and under and... You know, whatever. That's just how it goes. We've had two go under and now one going over. I think we're actually still on track because of that with time. All right, now I gotta go a little bit more steady. I don't think I can catch up with this build. Let's see what the rare relic is. Incense burner. I'll live with incense burner. That has saved me so many times. Um, all right. Hey, uh, I just got a daily mirror, which lets me. So let's copy double energy. Fully oh my this. gosh. Yeah, that's the smart choice. Wow. Because if I can get double and both double both double energies and the tempest in the same turn, good. <laughs> then I do I channel twenty one lightning orbs at the same turn, which is usually just the other person is dead. <laughs> yeah, that's that's how you can one shot a boss. That's how that works. So I just took the, actually, the event where I got a, where I got a curse, and then the next event I removed a curse, or removed a card. So I removed the curse. I love it when stuff works out that way. Normally the way I, the way I actually got the uh, achievement for that was uh, to get the event and somehow get to the boss. <laughs> mm. Just kill the first enemy. Have a load of question marks. <laughs> Here's Tempest, okay. Uh, I think we want to get... I'm going a little bit Claw, a little bit Claw as a backup this time. So I'm going to bring my Claw to Claw plus. Old coin, we got 300 coins. Let's find a shop. <laughs> we now have 631 coins on the first half of the first floor. So, yeah. I just, I just opened another chest out of habit. It is hard to do once you get used to opening chests. Um, yep. but yeah, when you've got that relic that... Uh, oh, start each combat with one artifact? I'll take that. Start a boss combat's heal 25. I'll take that. Negate the next two curses. I'll take that. It's a shopping spree. And chaos. Let's channel a random warp. That was a, that was a fun shopping trip. I like that. Sometimes the game does decide to be nice to you. Sometimes. I just don't have focus yet. I need to get the data disk. Automatically gonna heal up, so no reason for me to uh, heal before the boss. Nice. 
Slime, it's a matter of doing the math is harder, okay. With uh, 87, I better stop there. Oh, wrong attack. That's okay. Still surviving over there? Kinda. <laughs> Just on floor 48 now with about half. Oops. I just, hey, I'm not gonna tell you why I said oops, I just said oops. You just said oops because I, you felt like saying I oops, like you know? I felt like the right thing to say. Wait. <laughs> okay, R30. Yes. I'm doing a claw run because I have to claw back in this run. That's right, that's why. So on my screen, that's what happens when you play double energy. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Just in case I don't get a chance to do that in the... build is a little more safe, but not as, you know, basically, in case you don't win, then I've, uh, you know, I'm, I'm good. Channel some plasma, sure. So you've got Donudeka as well. Yep. I have a feeling you're going to be all right. Well, dying can happen. Dying can still happen, for sure. I'm just waiting for the turn where I get both double energy. That turn. to fight quite a lot easier now. <laughs> I'm still very scared though because they ramp up super fast. That's yeah, they ramp scary. up. <laughs> there is no such thing as a save donor deck of fight. I think the closest you can get I to forgot that. to use my fire pot to save me a lot of damage. I might be dead actually. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, I'm dead. Oh no! That mistake cost me. <laughs> well. I'm not sure if these relics are worth it. Ah. Not really. I'm gonna take Glacier just to be safe. Ah. on sale. So I've got a chance, is what you're telling me. I have yep. a chance. What's really annoying is when like, you can actually pinpoint the death to one thing just in. Oh, that, that's always a pain when you yeah. know there's a way. Because Donu Deca rather did uh, 20 damage to me and was fire potion. And I forgot to use the fire potion. Ah. Uh... Right, I actually take a little bit more time thinking about my build. Just not like me. I don't like to do that. That's okay. Desperate times call for desperate measures. So I'm not just working with just straight lightning orbs. I do have uh, darkness orbs as well this time, which makes a big difference. Huh. 
That's a floor two catalyst. Floor three, I think, probably. <laughs> Maybe there's a chance. Oh, double tempest? No thanks. There's really not a reason to have two of those in your deck. Well, there is. You can just play one and then play the other one. Oh, I suppose. Uh... So maybe this might go quite far over overestimate after all. <laughs> well, I mean, over our own estimate, yes, but then don't it's necessarily going to throw our uh, the marathon off offline. If we look at when's the next run supposed to start, just so we know. I'm trying to look here. I want to make sure. Uh, the next run is supposed to start already in ten minutes ago. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe it might throw the back. Looks like it is. Yeah. <laughs> And we are over, and we're over estimate. So, um, you know, that's kind of the point of this marathon. So I think um, we'll give this, we'll call this the last reset then, um, where if we can get it going uh, in uh, in this run, then, uh, okay, otherwise, uh, if we rip, we rip. I'll be going through with the, with the 10 minute strats if I can play the right card. So either it gets done in 10 minutes or it's not getting done. <laughs> Hexaghost's uh, first attack is based on your max HP, not max, current HP, so current when, HP. You're on, when you're on 0 HP, or 9 HP, as I am, he does a 1 times 6 attack. Yeah, that's definitely the only time when looking and figuring out which boss determines whether or not you're going to heal, very much because of that. Yeah, and I also managed to play an upgraded static but. If we we got consumed, which means if we get an inserter orb, then we're good to go. But that's a big gap. It's a big gap. The other thing you can do is just get a load of capacitors. Yes. One of those things the game likes to do to you though, like if you see if you get if you get lots of capacitors, then you also get the inserter orb, then you have too many, and then it's eh. 
because for some reason someone decided there had to be a cap to the number of mud holes. The number of holes you can have. It's a ten, I think. Yep. Which I think it's probably just from a uh, design perspective. It would be nice if it could go higher though. There probably is some mod that lets you. If not, um, hey mods. Mod creators. I have an idea for you. Slime's threatening to take me out. That's embarrassing. have the build that was going to make it. Yep. <sighs> I still have a chance. I have a lot of powers in my build. Yeah. So, just got to hope you don't roll the, the Woken or... Yeah. Yep. That's the RNG of the game. But uh, the character we're not seeing right now is there is a beta character. Uh, which is, is the fourth, the Wanderer, I believe, is the name of the fourth. <laughs> Uh, new character. Very different build from even these three. It has more to do with different stances and kind of states that you find yourself in. Uh, and that's that can be a, you know, a fun way to, to play the game as well. Personally, I haven't quite gotten the hang of it yet, but you know, who knows? Maybe, maybe my next Rogorama. This is completely fine. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> completely fine. Yeah. Actually. Am I dead? Yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> oh. And <laughs> <laughs> Well, Rip. that's rather unfortunate. Um gotta get something edited here. Um But yeah, this is... So it has to end in a draw, unfortunately. Um, um, I'm trying to type at the same time. But yeah, this is a lot of fun. Uh, we'll have to, I guess, we'll have to push this to the next one and then see if we can't uh, resolve it there. Yep. Um, but the next, next game we've got is the Pokemon Puzzle Challenge.